I'm the pastor at a Unitarian Universalist congregation in Mission Viejo, and I live right around the corner here. As a minister, I spend every day as I work to help people to see that they're brothers and sisters. And whatever differences that they might perceive, at the end of the day, they really don't matter. What does matter is that we have a safe place to call home, enough food to eat, and an opportunity to thrive as human beings. As a minister, I spend every day of my life trying to tear down walls that separate us from one another. I'm here today, we are here today, to ask our government to do its job. It can get dicey when you ask religious world and political world to come together. So I want to be clear, I'm going to keep doing my job of loving everyone as brothers and sisters, and I want my government to keep doing its job. Over and over again here in Southern Orange County, I hear my neighbors say, immigrants should simply follow the rules. They should go to their country of origin and apply legally for citizenship in the United States. They say those people should just follow the rules. But what those people don't seem to understand is that there is no reasonable pathway to citizenship in the United States for folks coming from Mexico and many other countries. That's exactly the problem. Without a huge amount of money, or literally decades to wait, it's nearly impossible to follow the rules. You can't tell someone to follow the rules and not have reasonable rules for them to follow. That is a trap. I'm a religious leader. It's my job to welcome and love all people. It's the government's job to create fair structures for our society, opportunities for people to make a better life for themselves. That's what we're here to ask for today. We're asking for John Campbell and our government to do its job and pass comprehensive immigration reform with a fair and reasonable pathway to citizenship. not just for the highly educated, but for hard workers who want to make a better life for themselves and for their families. Before I go, I'd like to ask you all to join me in a very short moment of prayer. Spirit of life, Mother, Father, God, we welcome you here into this gathering of committed people. Let us be reminded here today that we're brothers and sisters, regardless of the documents that we carry, the color of our skin, the place we worship, or our political party. We are your people, and it's our task to treat one another so. We ask for blessings for those gathered here in our struggle for justice. We ask for blessings for our political leaders who do their best to create a fair and just country. We ask for blessings for police officers, border patrol agents, and ICE agents who risk their lives to carry out the task they're given. May we be reminded here today and every day that we have far more in common than could possibly divide us, and it's our true calling to love and care for one another as we know that you love and care for us. In your many names we pray. Amen. Gracias primeramente a Dios porque nos dejó un día más y poder estar aquí todos reunidos en un mismo sentir. A Él le debemos el hecho de estar aquí y este día va a ser algo grande y eso depende de ti, de tu corazón, de lo que tú quieras llevarte este día y poner esa carga, porque esa carga no es tuya, esa se la damos al Señor y Él es el que va a obrar para esta causa donde estamos ahorita. Les pido que inclinen su rostro, los que gusten, y vamos a hacer una oración donde vamos a creer por fe que se van a abrir en los cielos y donde va a haber un antes y un después ahorita. Amado Padre Celestial, gracias por este día. Estamos aquí reunidos, tus hijos y yo, en un mismo sentir, diciéndote que abra las puertas del cielo 
y derrama bendiciones que sobreabunden y toca los corazones de las autoridades que necesitan dar su voto para que se lleve a cabo esta deforma migratoria. Amado Padre, seas tú con nosotros y ayúdanos a ser cada día mejores ciudadanos de esta tierra, amarnos unos a otros y respetarnos como tú nos enseñaste. Gracias Padre, porque este día 5 de octubre del 2013 estás marcando un antes y un después en de nuestras vidas. Te damos la gloria y la honra a ti. Y en este momento llevamos a cabo, Señor, lo que tú has puesto en nuestros corazones. Y sabemos que tú tienes control de cada paso que se está llevando. Te damos a ti la gloria y la honra al único que la merece. Amén. Amén. Y ahora va a hablarles el señor Lalo García. Eh, él tiene más de 15 años trabajando en la limpieza. Es inmigrante y está muy involucrado con su comunidad y con su sindicato en la ciudad de Orange. ¿Y quién creen que es su congresista? Otra vez el señor John Campbell. Lalo este, les va a dirigir unas palabras. Paulo Garcia has been working as a janitor for 15 years. He's an immigrant and he's very involved with his community and his union here in Orange. Where guess who's his congressman? John Hambo. Yes. Lalo? Lalo, Lalo. ¿Cómo estamos, compañeros? A ver dónde está esa energía. Ok, compañeros, mi nombre es Eduardo García, pero para los cuates soy Lalo García y aquí estoy presente. Uh, después de las elecciones de noviembre de 2012, el Congreso y miembros notaron que la comunidad de color votara en grandes números y logramos hacer la diferencia. Muchos de nosotros nos dimos cuenta en todo el país en este momento que ya era hora de una reforma migratoria y otros asuntos que afectan a nuestra comunidad de color. Muchas familias están siendo separadas innecesariamente. Millones están viviendo las sombras, teniendo miedo de hablar de la reforma migratoria ayudando a nosotros no podemos esperar más. Ahora es el momento. Hoy decidimos venir a, a, a la oficina del congresista John Campbell porque podemos mover hacia un apoyo a la reforma migratoria para nuestra comunidad. Queremos que el Congreso lleve una votación urgente y que seguimos unidos. Por favor, llamen al congresista John Campbell cuando tenga una oportunidad. Y aquí me faltó un número. Ok, aquí está. Al 949-756-2244. ¿Se puede, compañeros? ¡Sí, se puede! 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 ¡Y de norte a sur, de este a oeste, ganaremos la reforma! ¡Cuente lo que cuente! ¡De norte a sur, de este a oeste, ganaremos la reforma! ¡Cuente lo que cuente! Gracias, gracias, November 2012 election, U.S. Congress members noticed that communities of color voted in large numbers, made a difference in lots of elections. Many of us across the country realized that this is the time for immigration reform and other issues that affect our communities of color. We must get it passed this year. Millions of families are being needlessly separated. Millions are living in the shadows, afraid to speak up. Immigration reform will help us all. The time is now. You are about to hear from a variety of speakers to tell us why. We have chosen to target Congressman John Campbell today. Why? Because we can move him towards supporting sensible immigration reform. Today we urge him not only to support H.R. 15, that was just introduced on Thursday in the House, but also to speak up for it, to help get it to a vote on the House floor. Let's show the Congressman how urgent this is. Please call him when you get a chance. Call more than once. How many of you have already called Congressman Campbell? Look at all those hands. Or your own Congressperson. Most like people this? here are in Campbell's no, district. This one. Write this number down, 949. 756 wobbly first. Two, two, oh, what four, do you want? Four. Why not Once make again, it taller? 
I want to be able to seven five six because right now I can't two two four four. If you call today, you can leave a message. Uh, What's wrong? Because so I can only call. move it like this. I want to move it to the Oh, yeah. you need to uh, turn it to adjust the. Yeah. Might be easier to leave this down if that's your desired height and then pull this up because then it takes up less space down there. Después de caminar por el carrusel, continuaremos por la calle Pacífica hasta llegar a la oficina del congresista John Campbell, donde tendremos una actividad muy creativa. Terminaremos antes de la una. Pero primero uh, vamos a tener unas personas aquí. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a beautiful day, thanks to the Santana winds. When the Spanish first came here, they encountered this force of nature. They said, the devil wind, what is this? Cuando llegaron los españoles diciendo que dijeron que este viento me está jodiendo con mi pelo, por eso son los españoles, ¿no? <laughs> Encontraron con una fuerza natural. Well, the immigration rights movement is, una, is a force of nature and it will blow away the discord around immigration reform because people will listen to the people marching in this country today. I've asked Ada to come up here with me because yo hablo muy pocho, el español, y como ella es de, la, de, de Veracruz, ella va a traducir lo que estoy diciendo a veces. Gracias, Ada. We come here today to remind John Campbell that we are also his constituents. It's not just those who drive Mercedes-Benz and BMWs on the coast of Newport Beach that he has to listen to. It's also the people who make their lives possible, who create the wealth in this county that he represents. Do not forget us, John Campbell, because we will not forget you when it comes time to vote. We're here today to remind Congress, the Congress of the United States, not to forget about immigration reform. We heard a great deal about immigration reform a few months ago. Today it's on a back burner. We're here to remind Congress that millions of people will be marching in the United States to remind Congress that the time is now. Do not forget us. We will vote when we see what you do to this year. Somos 11 millones de, de, de gente que estamos aquí para que nos, nos, nos dan una reforma migratoria, nos las merecemos. Eso es lo que hay que decir, a pedirle a nuestro congresista, una reforma migratoria justa para todos, por nuestro, los, los millones de gente que estamos aquí. We come here today to tell the Tea Party, of which John Campbell listens to greatly, yeah. that immigrants and their families are not the enemy. They are the solution to our problems. They make our lives better. It's time the Tea Party recognizes that and moves ahead with immigration reform. No somos nuestros enemigos, somos familia, somos gente buena que venimos a trabajar, no somos sus enemigos. We're here to remind some people in Congress, like Representative Steve King from Iowa, who recently said that 99% of the dreamers, the children of immigrants, who were brought here as little kids are criminals, drug dealers, people who bring drugs into this country. That is so wrong. My students are dreamers. Everyone in this here has family who are dreamers. We're all dreamers. They're all people who are contributing and who deserve the opportunity to make a contribution that's even greater than the one they're allowed to today in this country. That's what immigration reform is about. Just to back up a moment, we have to remind everyone in this country, because sometimes people forget that this is a nation of immigrants. Es una nación de inmigrantes. ¿Qué significa eso? Significa que los inmigrantes llegaron y hace 
500 años o más, miles de años, para hacer algo en este país, en este continente. Oh. We have to remind people that immigrants have been coming to this country for 500 years, for thousands of years, and they came for the same reason, to make something beautiful in this country, to create new ways of living, to add and create what we call America today. They came here, they brought their energy, their creativity, their willingness to work hard, their willingness to change America and to contribute to what we call American culture and society. Where would we be? without that energy, the businesses they create, the wealth they create. It's almost unbelievable. The tacos and burritos they created, it's almost <laughs> unbelievable. Right? The sushi burritos, sushi burritos, where would we be without those? The story of America as an immigrant nation is a great story. It's a story we can celebrate. Few nations on earth can tell that story as well as we can. La historia de los Estados Unidos es una historia muy linda y es una historia que muchos países en el mundo no pueden hacer porque no son naciones de inmigrantes, ¿no? Es una, es una historia que tenemos que celebrar siempre. Pero estamos aquí porque todo no, es, todo no está bien en el país. We're here today because everything's not good in the country. We're in a moment of crisis, un momento de crisis. And it's a crisis not just of economics, but a moral crisis. Estamos en un crisis en este país. Y no es un crisis nomás de la economía, pero la, la, un crisis moral. ¿Y qué es este crisis? And what's this crisis? It's immoral. It's immoral to benefit every single day from the work of people. Korean Resource Center in LA Koreatown. Mi nombre es Eric Cliffy, yo me llamo Yoko. Venimos de Centro de Recursos Coreanos que estamos ubicados en Los Ángeles, en la ciudad de Orange. I myself come from a, a mixed status, mixed generation, and mixed language a family of uh, immigrants here in LA and other parts of the US. I have lived and worked in Irvine and other parts of Orange County. And as all of you are doing, I'm taking a little time off from work today to, uh, as you are doing, to send a message to our representatives, especially John Campbell, that the time for a path for citizenship is now. Yeah! <laughs> Y tomé tiempo libre de eh, mi trabajo para venir aquí a participar en la marcha, igual que todos ustedes. ¡Bravo! Estamos aquí para mandar un mensaje a la presentante Campo para, para decirle que tenemos la forma migratoria ahora. I'm a board member of Korean Risa Center in LA Koreatown. We are organizing community members to protect all of our families and demand the citizenship for 10,000 Korean American families and hundreds of thousands of other families in Orange County who aspire for American citizenship. Soy un miembro de la mesa directiva del Centro de Recursos Coreanos. El Centro de Recursos Coreanos estamos organizando la comunidad para proteger a las familias para demandar la ciudadanía para miles de familias coreanas y cientos de miles de otras familias en la de condado de Orange que eh, aspiran a la ciudadanía. Ah, estamos trabajando.
As a resident constituent of Congressman John Campbell, I join you all today to ask him today, no, demand of him today, to come out and support a citizenship and pressure House leadership to hold a vote now for comprehensive immigration reform. como un residente de, este, de esta ciudad y como un constituyente, constituyente del, del, del congresista John Campbell estoy aquí para pedirle no, no para pedirle, para demandarle al congresista que pasen la ley para que tengamos una vía a la ciudadanía y para presionar al liderazgo de la, de la Casa de Diputados um, para que voten ahora por la reforma migratoria We all know, we work and study hard here to build a safe, healthy, and quality life for our families, our communities, and for the country at large. I myself work almost seven days a week, as many of you do, for my practice, my family. Many of the people I serve do the same. Many of you, or people you know, do the same. With our hard work, our diligent study, we are building a better place for all of us who live and work here. Bravo. Para, uh, para vivir aquí en esta comunidad, para construir una comunidad uh, sana, una comunidad, uh, una comunidad saludable, una, para buscar una, una calidad de vida para nuestras familias, en nuestras comunidades, en este país. Yo, eh, por ejemplo, trabajo siete días a la semana, como, todo, como la mayoría de ustedes, para mi práctica y para mi familia. Y así sirvo a las, a las familias que yo sirvo por mi, por mi práctica. Y muchos de ustedes hacen lo mismo. Entonces con nuestro trabajo, con nuestros estudios, estamos construyendo un lugar mejor para todos nosotros que trabajamos y vivimos aquí. We need a doctor over here. Is there a doctor in the crowd that can come and help? Somebody fainted? No? Thank you. So we ask and we demand of Representative Campbell today to respect the dignity of his constituents, hardworking immigrant families, our community and families' contributions to rights. Entonces estamos aquí para demandarle uh, a que el representante de Campbell que respete la dignidad de nuestras comunidades, de las, uh, la dignidad de las familias inmigrantes, la dignidad de nuestras comunidades, las familias, las contribuciones y los derechos de nuestras familias. Representative John Campbell and the House of Representatives, stop delaying justice. The time is now for path to citizenship. Yeah! 
decirle al gobierno que este no es un momento para que estén jugando como unos niños regañados, que se pongan a trabajar, los hemos elegido para que trabajen, para que representen nuestra comunidad, no para que hagan unos berrinches, ¿verdad? Oh. También una reforma migratoria va a ayudar mucho a ayudar a esta economía a levantarla. Una reforma migratoria va a ayudar, si pasara este año, ayudaría a generar 3.000 trabajos el año que viene acá en el condado de Orange. Para el 2016 tendríamos 20.000 trabajos solo en Orange County. Mr. Campbell, what do we want? 